Falling a little bit. Shake her. <laughs> you want to steal here? Should we steal? You want to steal? All right, next pitch. He's a friendly, outgoing, just energetic, just full of life. He lights up a room when he walks in. He just, <laughs> he's just, he's really good kid. When he was born, he was born with spina bifida. And so it affected the nerves from, from his waist down. They said he would never walk. They said he would never, you know, do a lot of things that he's doing now. He, so he's just been a blessing the whole time. It's just amazing. It's just something that was sacking and it just says, okay, well, we'll deal with it, you know, and you don't, we'll just love him and care for him. No other choice but do that, you know. That's what that's what God has given us. And, you know, give us this baby, and we're gonna take care of it, no matter what the situation is. This is from Michigan State. This is Michigan State um, baseball. Oh, Vicky. She was his physical therapist when he was at Sparrow Outpatient Physical Therapy. He, she was his first physical therapist when he was just an infant. And then later on, we found out that she did the Miracle League and it had been years since we'd seen her because we ended up, you know, not going to therapy anymore because he got so, so well, they had to discontinue his therapy. Several years later, when we found out about the, the Miracle League, here she is, it all like full circle came around. <laughs> The Miracle League of Mid-Michigan provides the opportunity for youth with disabilities to play baseball on an accessible ball field. And it's all disabilities. Uh, we have probably 60% of our athletes are autistic. Um, we have visually impaired, uh, cerebral palsy, spina bifida, uh, you name it. There, there's every disability just about is represented in our group. We have 109 athletes, 10 teams. When we were fundraising for the field, before the Miracle League even existed, uh, Jake Bloss had been hired by MSU to be the head baseball coach. And so he partnered with us and came to fundraising We're events. Getting better. Uh, but we want guys that are going to represent Michigan State University uh, both on and off the field in a positive manner. We were fortunate to get involved at the ground level, uh, really on the fundraising side of it, ever since they opened their, their gates. Jake and I kind of started this probably about five falls ago that we would do a, a fall game. This year we had 32 sign up, so we're playing one game of 16 kids each and each team, and it's gonna be crazy, and the field's gonna be full of people, but it, it'll be fun. The guys that have been here for three and four years have their own buddy to say that the you know the same kid that they've been hanging out with for four years. So they build relationships with these kids and, and vice versa. Yeah. Pants and everything. What's up, dude? What's up, brother? What's up? <laughs> got your uh, you got your hat on and everything. You with, yeah. the, you with the Yankees again? Yeah. It was like right away they had this bond. I mean, it was like right away they found each other out. He's been his buddy every year, so. Jacob, he just can't wait to see him every year. He just, you know, is so ecstatic when he, you say Dan's name, and he's, Dan, Dan, he's so excited, and he just, he just idolizes him so much. We just click. His attitude is, is so great. It's, he just has, like, that persona and charisma that's fun to be around, and he's always excited to be there. I was drawn to it, and uh, it was like his whole world was just <laughs> us. <laughs> it felt pretty cool. We have a, like a secret handshake, and we like right, play together, on. like pass the ball back and forth together, and yeah, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play ball. All right, one, two, three. Let's, Let's go, go All Stars! First batter for the All Stars tonight, Jacob Bloss. Number 19, Jacob Bloss.
<laughs> Seeing something the doctors said you would never do was just unbelievable and just like the grace of God healing him and, and it's just wonderful thing that see and experience. Just watching the kids out there, they're just so amazing, you know, watching with everyone with their own disability and their own problems and watching them come alive on the on the field is just it's just uh, it's just you can't even say enough and, and just how much joy it brings to them. Just feeling in your heart. The families that are there are just great there, they cheer them on and it's all so special for the families, you know, especially because they see their child out there where they thought that they could never do something like that. We're going to score that as a home run so all players round all the bases. Woo! And once that game gets going, it's, it's, it's really honestly one of the highlights of the year for me is to sit back and watch our guys interact with these kids. I'm just so proud of the way that they handle themselves. I'm so proud of the way that they represent our baseball program and our athletic department and our university. But you know, more than that, I'm proud of the interactions that, and the relationships that they're making with these kids and the impact that they're having on these kids' lives. One of the parents of one of the kids who used to play here, she told me that this is her happy place and it's, it's drizzling and it's overcast and there's no sunshine at all, but, but when these guys come out on the field, all you're gonna see are smiles. And that's what makes it worth it for me. Sorry. <laughs> the small amount of time that they've, they've lived, you know, the obstacles they've overcome, the, the, just the challenges they've faced and everything, and this is just so special to them because of the Michigan State Spartans, and they're just so it's such a big name, and like this is the, the biggest present they could get. This is a big deal for these kids, the big role models, and you know, it's just kind of unbelievable to see, you know, the, how these kids are just so happy to have these guys with them and work with them. And just so many smiling faces to the kids, you know. Really special when when I hear that Michigan State I'm gonna be like Ugh. It's so exciting. So I tried to play my very best. Oh look at the hose! Look at the hose! Where was that all day? You've been sandbagging me. You know, I said it after the first one and I say it every year. I'm not sure who gets more out of that day. If it's those kids uh, playing with our guys or if it's our guys, you know, getting a chance to interact with those kids because it's a pretty special day. I have a cousin that has autism and um, seeing other guys, not besides myself, other guys on the team willing to help out and do things, it means a lot. But it's nice to see um, just my fellow brothers that you know we, I see every day playing baseball doing something that would actually you know contribute to something that's close to my family that's even. Him. That was him. Oh. No, it was Sapinko. Yeah. I don't know why he's tapping you. It's just great to watch him together. He's such a great role model for my son. He really looks up to him and to seeing him together it makes my heart just thrill. You throw joy, you know. I just so excited to see all the Spartans there but Dan, he's his favorite, you know, and he's always been with them and just it's been a great, you know, journey with Dan and keeping him, you know, with us has just been great. I think it's important for us to remember why we're here. Um, a lot of things happen out off the field that are bigger than baseball. And I think uh, it's definitely something good that our team can reflect on and realize that at the end of the day, wins and losses are wins and losses. It just matters who can, we can impact and uh, who we can reach out to. That's our main goal here is be better people than we are baseball players, I guess. <laughs> it's like my trophy. Better than the Big Ten Championship. <laughs>